Filling up the tank is infuriating these days. Actually, it's just it's brutal. Plenty of us complaining and rightfully so that we're shelling out 100 bucks or more, but that is not stopping people from planning road trips for the 4th of July. News 12 Connecticut Suzanne Goldklang joins us now from Darien along the interstate and talking to drivers. Suzanne. Good evening here at the Darien service area. A gallon of gas is 519 and that is more than a latte. But AAA says that's not stopping 42 million Americans from planning a road trip for the 4th of July. Gonna go, but the price of gas is ridiculous. It is what it is. Grumbling about gas. I'm filling up my tank at about like $120. While getting ready to go. On 4th of July, I'll be traveling to Niagara Falls. The paradox of summer 2022. Our family's going to go back on vacation. Those painful prices are not preventing people planning holiday travel, according to AAA's local spokesperson. We like to think it, think about it in terms as revenge travel. That's the most recent buzzword that the travel industry is using because people are so sick and tired of hunkering down. Adding nearly 4% more drivers than last year plan to motor at least 50 miles Independence Day weekend. Car travel is up and it's up very much. We're not gonna give up our summer vacation for gas for a few extra bucks. You're already spending a certain amount, so it's percentage wise, it's not that much more. But travelers will look to recoup those costs. They'll stay in low budget hotels. They'll cut back on souvenirs. Sacrifices to avoid staying put. They're looking for freebies, but they just want to get away from home. It's coming out of COVID, I think we all truly deserve it. So it sounds like a lot of people will be bringing some sandwiches from home and maybe a thermos of coffee. Where are you going for the 4th of July? Let us know on the News 12 Facebook page. In Darianne, Suzanne Goldfang, News 12 Connecticut.